Please, allow me to show you something. Hey, welcome back to the shitty world. So today we are in Little, which is one of the cheaper grocery stores in Italy. And just doing some grocery shopping. Um, I don't have anything else you need to get. Yeah, it's a bunch of things. I feel like we went through all the wings. Oh, so yeah, I have a few more things to get. So yeah, I'll just vlog it so y'all can see. From little um, the well it's a cheap grocery in Italy it's actually a German brand and they have expanded I believe they have expanded to the US as well but anyways we spent about 67 euro which is equivalent to 450 TT so it was basically three bags three two large bags and in Trini and me, I still brought my Massey bags because you have to pay for grocery bags across here as well. So you have to walk with your own reusable bags or pay for bags. So these three bags. Okay, so first I have the cold items because we want these to go in the fridge immediately. So um, margarine, spread, turkey, minced turkey, turkey burgers, some already cooked chicken breast stripped already uh seafood mix frozen pancetta which is basically bacon bits so two packs of these a whole cooked chicken um some cheese some blue cheese um i didn't get i wanted feta cheese but i had to go with the blue cheese this is a type of cheese wrapped in bacon that barry says tastes good so we'll get this um some regular bacon and this is an american brand that they have in the grocery so that's why they have it as bacon so this is real bacon and then some frozen frozen veggies so some zucchini tomatoes etc then we have um frozen spinach with mozzarella in it um egg whites and this is gnocchi which is a mix of like potato and flour like a pasta and this one is stuffed with gorgonzola cheese and then this is capletti with prosciutto in it so again another type of pasta that is kind of stuffed so basically let's call it ravioli but don't tell nobody you're calling it ravioli um everything here was basically under two euro either like 99 euro 199 2 euro etc except for this this was about 3 euro and this was poss I think possibly 3 euro as well everything else was individually like between under 3 euro like between 1 to 3 euro okay then we got four cartons of milk I don't know what to call it so some milk then uh, this is honey so a jar of honey some garlic powder some sauce some pasta sauce this is like tomato then we have I got cranberries because I want to do some salads um, again the Kennedy brand we got some pancakes just if you're feeling nice in the morning and we want to have a cute breakfast uh, some oh, some tea I got some lemon tea I'll mix that with the honey for my voice uh, some carrots I think this was one something euro some um, bigger buns again from the McKennedy brand these American things this <laughs> Kennedy brand some avocados this is the best we could do I think these were 95 euro each so yeah uh some garbage bags are refilled for some hand soap dove and then some 
fabric softener. And last but not least, some random snacks. So this will be our version of tortillas. For now, only everything. So this is snack day. This brand seems familiar though. I don't know from where. But these tortilla chips and I see cheese, so I guess it's cheddar. So we have some tortillas. <laughs> um again, this McKennedy brand got some cookies oats and cranberry and dark chocolate and macadamia i hope this tastes good then i saw some beers that i wanted to try um first of all because the bottle looked cute secondly because it seems i assume it's from germany i just saw german red i thought all well, would have been from germany but i still wanted to try it so this is steam and it's a well this one is a <laughs> This one is a German red and the percentage intrigued me, 7.9. And then we have an Imperial IPA at 7.8%. Then I don't like stouts, but I just said for taste test purposes. So this is an Imperial stout at 7.5%. There were like uh, three other um, options, but... I think these are the ones I would be interested in trying. Then there was this interesting one. It's apparently Italian. Hip hop. Ale. Hilarious to me. But anyway, this is extra strong ale um, at 9%. So we'll see. And then there was this one. Hip hop IPA. And Italian pale ale at 6.1% volume. So these are just some fun things to try. And then I got a thermal pair of socks because it's getting very cold. So this is just to keep warm. And then of course, Vino will be very integral here. Uh, so this is just an easy way to take off the, um, the let's call it your wrapper. That is to the top of the cap. So yeah. That is basically the grocery haul from little okay so we also went to the grocery that is basically downstairs from us for things that we didn't necessarily need to get at little which is a good distance away from us and the name of that grocery is conard so in total we spent like 30 euro and this is what we got for 30 euro compared to what we got at little for 60 euro but anyway so I picked up a salad pack and a lot of their things they have their things generic brand I guess you could call it so pack a salad this was probably one euro some oranges uh, two um, well it's one but you get two in it and it's basically cooking cream so two well it's four um, cooking creams a carton of eggs a small olive oil um i don't know why to have truffle but a small bottle of olive oil then just to try these out it's the san benedito juice so this is the lemon carrot and lemon and this is like berries etc this was this was like 55 euro well 55 cents euro each so yeah then i got some a balsamic vinegar glaze so i saw mariana um i didn't even know that they had a glaze so she told me how to do it at home just with the vinegar but i saw glaze so i picked up the glaze the coffee addict apparently so he got some Starbucks to grind and make it because apparently he's Italian now. This is the Conard brand of like the special K cereal um, version of like the Nestle Fitness. So just this with some bits of chocolate and then, well not and then, um, a bottle of wine. Honestly, <laughs> every time we go we just pick up a random bottle. And we'll see if we like it or not. So 
I don't even know what kind of wine this is, but it's a red wine, so we'll see. Essentials, pick some toilet paper, and this is apparently eco toilet paper. I don't know what it means, but we'll see if we like it or not. And then some paper towels, and this actually feels like cloth, like it feels good. So yeah, this is what we got for 30 euro at Conard, and this is basically the end of our grocery haul. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, so I'll know if you like this type of content, so I'll know if to do any more grocery hauls here in Italy. And until next time. Bye.